This should be a good one, Beth. Black jerseys for Indy White for the Pels. A late trip here overnight as Valanchunas gets it stripped and Indy will push. Pascal Siakam, the nice pickup for them in January for uh, Toronto. Absolutely. He has only missed 11 games, which is fabulous for him and his unfortunate injury history. That was a terrific shot by CJ McCollum. No real rhythm yet. Turner spinning away from Valanchunas to knock it down. It's opened some things up inside. Opportunity is knocked for Miles in particular as he gets the finish, assisted by Siakam. It feels very much like the second day of a back-to-back -back for the Pels, though, so far. Still trying to figure some things out. Here's Ingram. He'll pull up. Turner in his face, count it, and a foul. And absorbing the contact even at that slim frame, a great take, and again, that high release. Another assisted basket as Siakam scores inside. That's five of their seven buckets. The standings are just nutty on both sides of the Corner three is good from Ben Shepard, who's just checked in. The rookie out of Belmont. Right under the hoop and a terrific pass by Ingram. Here is McConnell into the game and immediately picks up a dish to Halliburton. Better than 60% so far tonight in the first quarter against one of the better defensive units in the NBA. Already seven different guys have scored for the Pacers. Have touched the paint first. Williamson, oh, nice hesitation, and then he's met at the rim and blocked. Halliburton the other way for the jam on the run. Obi Toppin throws it down. Differential game clock, shot clock. McCollum followed Zion down the lane and a breakout for Halliburton with plenty of time. Off the window for Toppin. McConnell tracks it down, looking for a seventh assist. Another opportunity for the Pacers. And TJ will take it himself. Jones gets it back to Zion, and that time he's up in the air first. And operating a little pick and roll there with Herb Jones. Matherin. Marshall's got it. McConnell, the trail three. Good. But McConnell and Herb Jones were really chattering away at one another as New Orleans was bringing the ball up the floor, and now that's a couple buckets in a row for Zion, and Rick Carlisle wants to talk about it. I don't know about um, a fan section for NBA fans. Or the whatever. wall? That, yeah, the wall. I'm not sure about that part, though. We'll see how that takes off. Williamson. Ingram. Big range. Short. Oh, three black jerseys around it, but they tipped it right to Murphy. Count it. It's going to be important for them to get some ball movement in their half-court set, though. This is a good mismatch for Ingram to take advantage of. Which he does! Well off the mark, but they'll get another look. A very confident shot. Ingram, no. Siakam with the cherry pick for the jam. Williamson missed the land. Nemard. Three ball is good. He'll celebrate his birthday tomorrow. Final minute of this first half. Ingram looking for some help, and Herb gives him the back door cut. It's a great read by Herb Jones, because Brandon Ingram was essentially stuck. Oh, no. Wow. Wide open three from the corner. Halliburton will set the screen for Siakam right back to Tyrese. Oh, he passed up the three, will step inside the line and hit. Star Watch brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile and by DJ Cool and your DC connection. There it is, DJ Cool jamming at halftime. And Pascal Siakam, Jordan Hawkins hit a three, Herb Jones hit a couple of buckets, and there's that run out again for the Pacers. Matherin blocked by Nance and able to scoop it back up and in. You got to make some things happy. There's so much excitement around the three of these guys when they're all together. And there's Ingram. Nice little fade. Kept alive by Smith. 
it'll work its way back to Nimhard. Sixth assist for Halliburton. More assists than shots taken so far for Tyrese. Here he is with the push, and he'll give it up to the big fella. Assist number seven. Timeout, New Orleans. If they could get that young man going, it could change the complexion of what the Pelicans can do. Halliburton will try again. Same spot, different result this time. <laughs> I don't love that shot. I'll be honest with you, Beth. Now, I, I would agree with you on that one. Had other options. Nemhard gets the defender fly by him. So essentially a six-point swing off a miss at one end and make at the other. But this is the same thing that happened in the third quarter. You chip into the deficit, and then you don't get back and give up easy baskets. Now that one we like. That one's better. Smith. In and out. It's a really good three-point shooting team against one of the best three Ds and Williamson. Skies for the Marshall lob. The Pelicans' defense in the last few possessions has really held the line. They've done a good job of keeping the Pacers in front of them. Halliburton. Oh, sweet feed to Smith inside. And Shepard has picked up that role. McConnell with his passing ability. Everybody's doing their job for this second unit. Shot clock's winding down. Matherin, oh, sweet fake. Got Herb Jones to lean the other way and float it over Zion. Matherin knocked down three of those already in today's ballgame. You mentioned coming off that 34-point performance. And one opportunity for Zion. If they're going to, it's going to be as much about focus as anything else. They can't give up those wide open baskets in transition. Matherin. Yeah, that was CJ's fourth triple. He's got 14. Ingram, eight, uh, 21. Zion with 18 for the Pels. Down by as many as 20. Have gotten to within five. And now they're chipping away again. Zion had a really good one, too, tonight. He did. He did. Ingram wants the screen from McCollum. Gets the switch, gets the smaller defender, and gets the finger roll. McConnell keeping that dribble alive. And gets the land. Just relentless work. Steps back, Toppin meets him out there. And it's tipped forward and look out. Obi! McCollum will try and lead one more charge for New Orleans. Williamson with the left hand wow. up and in. Zion now with 20. Hawkins kicks it back out to Zion. Wide open work. Got it. Siakam spins and lays it up and in. Halliburton will step back over Ingram and he's got it. Five on the shot clock. Double comes. Siakam rolls. Ty finds him for the assist. And Holly's going after this switch. He wants Zion to have to guard him out on the perimeter. Burton gets by, finds Siakam, who floated in from the weak side. 11th assist for Halliburton, that's his average, leads the league, and he'll pick up another one here. 24 for Siakam, and they will get the win here at home. 44 bench points too, Beth. Quite the performance as a collective.